They arrived at the KGW studios to crowds of supporters, incumbent Governor Kate Brown and her challenger, Representative Newt Bueller. They tackled questions, including where they stood on abortion. I think with what's happening at the national level, it's critically important that women across the state have a true pro-choice champion, and I am that champion. As governor, I will not be changing any reproductive rights uh, legisl uh, laws that currently exist in, in Oregon. KGW political analyst Len Bergstein says that answer was one of many where Bueller tried to distance himself from his own party. He took, answered several questions and said, I'm different than Trump. I'm a different kind of Republican. I'm more independent. On education, Governor Brown touted her leadership and results. On my watch, we've certainly made progress, but it's not enough. We saw the highest improvement in high school graduation rates since we started keeping track in 2017, and our communities of color saw a 7% increase uh, in their high school graduation rates as a result of significant investments we made in those communities. Bueller suggested history tells a different story. Just uh, two weeks ago, she said she has no control over this issue, even though she is superintendent and head of public schools and controls almost 70% of the budget that goes to our schools. It is the single biggest failure of Governor Brown is her indifference to fix our public schools. Uh, I will do it. I will lead where Governor Brown has not. On the homeless crisis, Bueller said he wanted to invest $50 million on rental assistance and enforcing the law. For compassion and a little tough love, meaning they offer compassion, expect responsibility, and develop independence. As governor, I'll concentrate resources and funds on those kinds of programs that make a difference. Part of Brown's focus, increasing affordable housing. And I'm proposing that we invest 370 million more, not just to get our families and children off the streets, but are chronically homeless. And that means making sure they have wraparound services, including drug and alcohol treatment, including employment services, and obviously uh, access to comprehensive mental health. So who won the debate? Like the race itself, Bergstein says it's too close to call. The governor held her own, and really a tie goes to the incumbent in this case. And I think overall, this was a debate where there was no kind of, you know, knockout punch that was delivered or something that would dramatically change the direction of the race here in the last couple of weeks. The question now is who will you vote for? While you're deciding, make sure you're registered to vote. Oregonians have until October 16th, that's next Tuesday, to get that done. Laurel. Yes, register and be sure to vote. Thank you, Catherine.